The farm itself is, is made up of 58 hectares. If, if we see this map here behind me, we're split over three farms. And although they look quite close on that map, they're actually 12 kilometers, 12 kilometers and four and a half kilometers away. So what that has done is it's actually contributed quite a lot to our contractor charges, I suppose. They're quite high on account of that, given the fact that in previous years we've had to draw out slurry and draw back the silage back to the farm. So one of the changes we made this year is that we've actually dropped the farm. Again, like Paul said, we lost cows with TB, so our, our stocking rate was down anyway. But that four farms was adding quite a lot to our contractor charges. So we dropped one farm, we dropped that farm to circle that circled in red. So that's the, that's the three farms. We're currently farming 85 cows. They're made up of high index Angus and Hereford cross cows. Those cows are, are all coming from the dairy herd. We source them as calves and they're calving down at 24 months. The, the lads will tip on that more later on. We've quite a compact spring calf in here. We calf down everything this year. Uh, we had a six week calving rate of uh, 95%. So to be fair to Stephen, he was very busy here in the spring. We're 100% AI. We've no stock bulls here on the farm since 2016. And that is working quite well for us. What we do have, and you'll see him as you go around, is we have three teasers in with the breeding stock. That's that um, freezing lad, he's, he's fitted with a moo called heat collar, and he's picking up the cows for heat. Our heifers and steers, last year they finished at uh, steers 22 months, the heifers just under 18 months. And we aim with them with a carcass of 300 kilos on the heifers and 355 on, on the steers. Again, it's the age of slaughter there that we're trying to, we're trying to reduce on. We aim to try and maximise our profits, so that, that's why we're on a grass-based system here. We try to get all cattle gone away before the second winter. Very few animals going back into the shed for the second winter. That's where the costs really kick in when we have to go back into the shed to get cattle gone. We have no land charge on the farm, but we also have no single farm payment, so you'd argue that one might cancel out the other there. We have one full-time labour unit, that's Stephen, but we don't take him into... He's not costed into the system, but our, our relief labour is costed into the system. And I suppose at the time, why we're not doing that, when we set up in 2015, we aimed that the farm would make a profit or leave a profit of 35,000, and that would be to pay a farmer as such. So if we move on then to the second board, we can see here in 2015 when we, when we set up, we had a low enough output that has since increased as time went on. But in line with that, our variable costs have also, have also increased. I suppose what they're made up of, if you look at the next, the next graph, we have quite a number of um, outliers, I suppose, that don't really or might not necessarily apply to your farm. One of those, for example, is the, the contractor coming in at 28,000. We have no machinery here on the farm. All we have is a tractor and loader, a couple of in implements for the loader, livestock trailer and, and a fertilizer spinner. So I suppose the contractor does all the heavy lifting here, whether it's silage or, 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 or slurry, that's all done by the contractor. But the main contributor to that is that we're, we're split out over three farms. When you're paying someone per hour to spread slurry, you're, he, a lot of that has gone on the road, unfortunately. The next one then, I suppose machinery. When, when I say we only have one tractor and we have a machinery cost of 9,000, the transmission went in the tractor last year, that was 4,500, so we don't hide nothing. That, that unfortunately is a fact of life. Our loan interest and depreciating, when we set up here back in 2015, we had to, I suppose, borrow money. We put in roadways, we put in fencing, we put in a, a new water system across a couple of farms at the time. So we, we borrowed, I suppose, heavy, but that was paid for off as we went along. And I suppose, thirdly, our hired labour, not really a cost that you'd associate with, some, with other farms, family labour or whatever might be kicking in there. But unfortunately, we have to pay for everything here, and that's what hired labour is coming in at. A bit strong last year, just between change of manager or a hired labour just might have been a, a bit high. Fertiliser, I suppose, it's not truly reflected up there, but we have actually reduced it in the last number of years. But I suppose we all know what happened. Fertiliser last year just tripled in price and it's, it's reflected up there. Mm -hmm.